putting a lot of stress on the HDMI cable. I better not do this. Unless I can move the black magic box. Hold on. better on one, I, I gave it some slack. Good evening, everyone. It is great to finally be here with you today to celebrate the class of 2020. Before we officially begin, there are a few items I need to mention. When the ceremony is finished and the graduates have left the stadium, they will travel directly to the auxiliary gym to get their diplomas and then immediately depart campus. While they are doing that, I will dismiss the guests who are seated on the track first. I'll ask those of you seated on the east side to exit out through the team gate, which is over here by the TP, and those of you on the west side to exit out the main gate. Please do your best to exit quickly and go directly to your vehicle. When the track has emptied, I will dismiss the east and west bleachers and ask that you exit the stadium in the same manner. All of us thank you for following the guidelines to be safe, and thank you so much for coming tonight. All right, here we go. Members of the School Board of Trustees, Dr. Schaefer, faculty, family, and friends, good evening. And welcome to the commencement exercises for the class of 2020. At this time, would you please stand as the faculty and Danville Community High School class of 2020 enter for their graduation ceremony. Mr. Yoder, if you would, please.
position at Danville Community School, the senior class president will now for this ceremony. At this time, if Cook would please come forward for the presentation. Oh boy, Kyle! I I can yell pretty loud, but not. That. Kyle is the son of Madison Karina Cook. He has been a member of the uh, member and of Student Council, National Society, Rotary Interact, BPA, and of the cross country team. He will be attending Indiana University to major in supply chain management. All students, faculty, parents, friends, and families to the 2020 Danville Community High School graduation ceremony. This event has been made possible by the faculty, the staff, superintendent's office, and school board who have been working very hard under these extreme circumstances in order to be here today. This time, I ask staff, members of the superintendent's office, and school board, please stand up for a round of applause. This class has shown excellence in academics as no numerous scholarships received. We also excelled in sports, shown by our many winning seasons and our many athletes play in We were a class of community service having volunteered many hours at churches, organizations, libraries, hospitals, etc. We had several students exhibit their patriotism by joining the military tremendous commitment to the freedom we all enjoy today. Unfortunately, some of them are not here since their basic training has already begun. During our senior year, we had extensive patients such as art, Games, theater, FFA, BPA, and many more. The class of 2020 has set a record for DCHS as to host our post prom event, not even having a prom, by playing bingo virtually, drive through at a local bank to collect taxes. For all the buses, bless your heart. And it is the first time at that graduation held in July. Our class was the guinea pig for online learning and we would like to thank parents for the tremendous patience they had during this painful time. Thanks to social distancing, the last part of our senior year was not the same. Without our daily conversations in school, at the spring break, we were probably not the most charming people to be around for the last two and a half months of school, but who's to say we are now? Thank you to the parents who became homeschool teachers, even though this is a scenario we all wish we could have avoided. Thank you all for attending tonight's event that honors these 205 exceptional students. At this time, we will begin the valedictorian and salutatorian speeches. Our salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Claire Baker. Claire is the daughter of Craig and Jennifer Baker. She has been an officer and member of student council and a member of National Honor Society, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, BPA, and Spanish Club. She has been a member of the volleyball team the past four years, and Claire will be attending Purdue University to major in nursing. Hello everyone, I'm Claire Baker. 
excuse me, even though this is not the graduation we all imagined, I'm glad that we are still able to gather here together to celebrate all of our accomplishments. Coronavirus has affected our lives in more ways than we thought. I remember back to that Friday in March when we thought we would just get two weeks off of school and return like normal. We left the classrooms, hallways, and doors, eager to begin what we thought would be a two-week vacation. As time in quarantine went on, we began to realize how much of an impact the lack of human interaction had on us and those within our households. We began FaceTiming friends, family relatives, and others that we had not seen or talked to in a long time. I know we all spent way too much time on TikTok, binging Netflix movies and series, as well as ruining all of our sleep schedules. We tried everything we could to remain connected to those in our life, but technology could never reciprocate actual human interaction. It may sound cheesy and cliche, but I truly learned the importance of our connection with others. Although this is a scary time in the world, a vaccine will be created and coronavirus will eventually subside. However, this does not mean that life will be without fear or obstacles from here on out. We all have fears, fear of fears pertaining to our future, fear of getting out of our comfort zone, fear of le leaving a town we've grown up in our whole life, and fear of the unknown. And while it is normal to hold these fears, we should not let them hold us back. We all have dealt with fears and handled stress throughout our school careers. We've been scared that we weren't gonna pass an exam, weren't gonna win a game, or weren't gonna perform well during a play. Yet we all survived even when we thought we wouldn't. We stayed up way too late studying and left our all on the field, court, and stage. We, all, we are all warriors, and I believe that fits our class perfectly. We have demonstrated time and again that we are strong, determined, and resilient. And this pandemic has even proven that more. We are all about to enter into a new environment, whether that be college, a trade school, the military, or the workforce. As we step into our new roles, do not be intimidated by those around you. Our class has the potential to add a lot of good to the world, and now is our time to do so. In the Bible, 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. We should not be afraid to stand up for what we believe in because even the tiniest change in the world can have a widespread rippling effect. Lastly, I would like to take the time to thank everyone that worked so hard to get us here today. I would like to thank Dr. Schaefer, uh, our principal, Dr. Haman, and our vice principal, Mrs. Harvey, for their dedication to us as students. I would like to thank our teachers of all grades for helping us in more than just school material. I'd like to thank our coaches for teaching us lessons on and off the field and all the individuals who worked behind the scenes to make sure our school runs smoothly. And last but not least, I would like to especially thank the class of 2020 for all the memories. I will always cherish my time as a Danville warrior. Thank you. Now our valedictorian for the class of 2020, Kyle Cook. As we heard earlier, Kyle is the son of Tom and he will be attending a university to major in supply. I would like to congratulate everyone in our class for their academic achievements and success. We are very fortunate Danville has provided us with a solid academic foundation and personal developmental experience which prepares us for what lies ahead. Not too many schools have the dedicated teachers whose classes we have been privileged to attend and as a result our education system is right up there with the best. This class exemplifies the poster child of what American students should be. Now I would like to discuss six points for your consideration. The first point is to be open to failure. In our four years, we have experienced many successes and we will continue to do so, but also expect to experience failure. 
Failure is not something to be ashamed of. In fact, it's a learning experience. Failure helps you become more adaptable, makes you less afraid to try new things, and shows us what we want and how bad we want it. The sooner you fail, the better, because it gives you more time to make the appropriate changes and to achieve success. Next, life will be tough. Two great teachers once wore t-shirts that said, math is hard, so is life, get over it. Thank you, Mrs. Quant and Mrs. Young, for always reiterating that life is hard. You will not always walk down easy street. You will encounter many obstacles along the way, but that doesn't mean give up. Mrs. Quant and Mrs. Young never let us give up because math is hard, so is life, get over it. My third point is that no job is beneath you. In one of Bill Gates' speeches to a, a high school graduation like this one, he quoted, flipping burgers is not beneath your dignity. Your grandparents had a different word for burger flipping. They called it opportunity, end quote. Some of us will go to college. Some of us will have our first job upon this graduation. And some of us will go to trade schools. Regardless of where you start, your ability to succeed is unlimited. Fourth, be realistic. In your first big person job, you won't be able to afford a Mercedes, you won't be able to afford a Rolex, and you won't be able to afford your own private jet. All that comes with hard work and dedication. Your, your expectation on your first job should be, real, be realistic based on the marketplace and the skills that you provide to the table. I encourage you to work hard and be a, a team player because if you do, your dreams will one day become a reality. Fifth. Value the little things. My grandmother always told me the first thing you do every morning is make your bed. I always took that with a grain of salt until I heard a Navy Admiral say the same exact thing. Paraphrased, U.S. Navy Admiral Willie McRaven said, by making your bed every morning, you learn that the little things matter. If you can't do the little things right, you will never be able to do the big things right. Nothing matters but your will to succeed. By making your bed every morning, you have completed the first task of the day. And by completing one small task, you create a ripple effect for completing many more. The last point is to always remember others. In the same way people in Starbucks drive throughs occasionally pay for the car behind theirs, pay it forward to others by sharing your experiences with them. Our success is a result of the support from teachers, friends, family, and the community. In your future, be sure to share your success with others. So to conclude, let's go out and change the world, even if it is just one small step at a time. At this time, could all the veterans please stand in the audience. Any veterans, please stand as we are about to recognize those students entering the military. All of us want to thank you for your service and efforts to protect the freedoms that we enjoy. The decision the military is not one that is made easily. Ten students from the class of 2020 have made the commitment to serve our country. As a courtesy to these honored students, I ask that the members of our audience please hold your applause until all the names have been read. Due to the delay of graduation, seven of these students have already reported to basic training. I want to recognize them all. We will start with the three here today. Please stand and remain standing until all the names have been read. Quinton Paul Chubach, United States Army. Hayden J. Klon, Indiana National Guard. Stay standing. You'll get used to following orders. <laughs> Tyler James Slack, United States Army. Logan Paul Bow, United States Army. 
Nathan Allen Bowling, United States Army. Garrett Gold Deaton, Indiana National Guard. Gabriel Lewis Farnsley, United States Army. Richard Kulinowski IV, United States Army. Clara Marie Petrie, Indiana National Guard. And Austin Lee Andrew Pierce, United States Army. On behalf of everyone here tonight, we salute you, and we are proud of your dedication and commitment to protect and serve our country. Thank you, and Godspeed to you and your families. Please be seated. Before we begin the final portion of tonight's ceremony, we'd like to recognize the Danville Community School Corporation Board of Trustees. Their guidance as a governing body has helped all teachers and administrators from kindergarten to 12th grade design schools where each child has the opportunity to be successful. Thank you for your efforts. Before we present the diplomas, we would like to acknowledge that the students, the students in this year's graduating class have earned over $1.1 million in scholarships. We congratulate you on these outstanding achievements. I would now like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Tracy Schaefer, who will present the diplomas. During the presentation of diplomas, our graduates request that the audience please hold their applause until the last student's name has been read so that the announcement of names can be heard by everyone in this assembly. They thank you in advance for this courtesy. Graduates may remove your mask when you cross the stage. Row one, please stand. John Patrick Adams. Just follow right behind him. Keep coming. Anthony, there you go. Anthony Albert Anastor. Samuel Vincenzo Arnoni. Miranda Angeline Arthur. Daniel Lee Averett, Claire Marie Baker, Abigail Elise Barnett, Megan Renee Boville, Kyle Neville Brabeck, Wesley Thomas Branchfield, Kristen Marie Brown, Timothy Colin Brown. Madison Haley Bruins. Elizabeth Ellen Berger. Autumn Aurora Burnicle. Perry Alexander Burnworth. Lance Jordan Bush. Dalton Matthew Campbell, Andrew Ray Carmen, Sarah Marie Carter, Grace Lauren Catney, Preston Grant Chamberlain, Emily Page Cheesum, Kylie Yumiko Church, Kobe William Clark. Mackenzie Page Klein, Isabel Joe Klaus, Brooke Danielle Cochran, Ella Lynn Collier, Samuel Cash Comer, Delilah Isabella Cook, Kyle Thomas Cook, Mason James Corwin, 
Jared William Cox. Caleb DeMarco Cox. John Martin Creviston. Jersey Berchea Cruz. Quentin Paul Chubach. Katie Nicole Davis. Stephen Michael Dawson. Natalie Ray Dayharsh. Madison Paige Deckert. Madison Faith Depoy. Elijah Thomas Devlin. Isaac James Dial. Ava Grace Donaldson. Benjamin Derek Dooley. Alexandra Hope Earl. Caroline Grace Ellis. Brielle Bryn Elza. Haley Nicole Ferris. Megan Lynn Fuquay. Braden Wayne Fisher. Devin Joseph Fight. Ethan James Frederick. Zane Joseph Fries. Silas Xavier Fry. Chloe Danielle Folk. Garrett Landon Fullwider. Trevor Lee Gerald. Caleb Michael Gentry. Sarome Grace Gerber. Zerun Caleb Gerber. Derek Mitchell Gillespie. Connor Timothy Good. Wesley Philip Chase Graybill. Samantha Marie Gregory. Caitlin Rose Grissom. Anna Claire Gummery. Macy Adara Hackelman. Alyssa Renee Haddix. Elizabeth Kathleen Harvey. Logan Scott Hedger. Dakota Joseph Helms. Mackenzie Rose Henselwood. Hunter David Hensley. Jose Carlos Hernandez. Cameron Allen Hill. Michael David Hobbs. Ashley Nicole Hodge. Matthew Leon Hoffmeister. Ethan Garrett Hogstrom. Hannah Marie Hoskins. Caitlin Nora Eisenberg. Sophia Genevieve Jackson. Delaney Elizabeth Joins. Samuel Sean Karras. Austin Lewis Kashmir. Lily Cameron Kemp. William Harrison Kessinger. McKenna Grace King. Hayden J. Klom. Michaela Renee Knight. Peyton Olivia Kubaleski. Toby Elizabeth Colt. Dakota Matthew Lathrop. Rachel Lilja Lathrop. Ethan Lewis Lawrence. Colin Andrew Lawson. Tance Allen Lawson. Tab, oh, that's not Tabitha. Okay. Jules Valeria Trout. No, are you the right? 
Tabitha Christine Mace. Maria Ruby Magianis. Michaela Nicole Martin. Shelby Ann Maston. Emily Elizabeth Mayo. Lucy Renee McRoberts. Parker Ryan Means. Caleb Matthew Miller. Christian Joseph Dean Miller. Skylar Marie Miller. Zachary Dale Miller. Cameron Eugene Morgan. Nolan Wayne Morton. Fook Wynn. Alexander Michael Nichols. Shay Alexandra No. Brody Justin O'Brien. Brody Patrick O'Brien. Charity Ann Oliver. Joseph Roma Oliver. Tristan Ray Oren. And now we've got Kendall Masters. Riley Marie Phillips. Jacob Henry James Pickerel. Kristen Taylor Pike. Kyle Thomas Poland. Alicia Pauline Ponder. Sila Grace Porter. Gavin Malone Quant. Samuel Patrick Reagan. Emily Sue Riley. Nathan Philip Richardson. Jordan Nicole Riddle. Logan Allen Rigdon. Caroline Diana Ritchie. Kelsey Claire Pol Roland. Peyton Nicholas Roof. Matthew Peyton Russell. Pace Alexander Schmuddy. Maya K. Schroeder. Chandler Paul Schubert. Logan Nicholas Seifert. Callie Patricia Sharkey. Maria Gabrielle Sharon. Sierra Hope Shelton. Jessica Faith Shipley. Ellie Brooke Shores. Noah David Silvers. We're slowing down just a bit. We've got to back up. Kayla Grace Simpson. Shelby K. Simpson. Tyler James Slack. Carly Marie Summers. Jacob Brandon Steinway. Jordan Edward Taylor. Julian Javier Thomas. Stephen Morris Thomas. Aubrey Elizabeth Thornburg. Sydney Paige Thurston. Lauren Catherine Townsend. Sarah Joy Trout. Kathleen Grace Vickers. Grace Elizabeth Vince. Malik Germain Wade. Elizabeth Grace Walker. Ellie Ann Walker. Maddie Christine Wambach. 
Patrick Austin Ward, Raven Michelle Grace Ward, Dylan Ray Ware, Keely Ann Watts, Daniel Robert Weber, Zachariah Allen Weiss, Noah Michael Wells, Thomas Richard John West, Madison Paige White, Gabrielle Elizabeth Williams, Sarah Justin Winkler, Ashlyn Jane Wuschliger, Taylor Ann Wright. Taylor about took a header. Congratulations. <laughs> the nice thing about this pause, this is where I get to take my face mask off, so we're going to enjoy a, a moment of uh, waiting here. <laughs> All right, congratulations, graduates. And I want to, uh, again, welcome our, our seniors and our guests. In just a few moments, you'll be invited to take part in the turning of the tassel. Before we do that, I want to remind you of the symbolic nature of this event. It represents a turning point in your life and a culmination of your experiences through life and school to date. This event validates you as an intelligent and educated member of our community, our state, and our nation. Whether you are continuing on with your schooling, going into our valued military service, working the family farm, or entering directly into the workplace, you now take with you the most valuable gift that a loving family and community can give to you. That is the gift of a quality public education. As my father used to tell me, get your education and no one can ever take that away from you. Class of 2020, please stand. At this time, I invite you to remember the roles that your parents and guardians, your elementary teachers, your middle school teachers, your high school teachers, administrators, and school board have played in your attainment. Please take a moment right now to turn and make eye contact. We're kind of spread out here, but I'm sure you know where, where your folks are if they're out here. And, and look at them and just kind of give them a wave and acknowledge them for all that they've put into for you. I want to encourage you to thank them as you have an opportunity to do so for helping you along your educational journey. And lastly, seniors, I want to congratulate and encourage you. Each of you has experienced possibly the most unusual and challenging senior school year ever. You have endured much, but you've accomplished more. I commend you for your patience, your steadfastness, and your courage. These challenges will only make you stronger for the future as you make a difference in our world. Your Danville community loves you and wishes you the very best. Class of 2020, upon the recommendation of your principal on behalf of the faculty of the Danville Community School Corporation, by the power vested in me by the Board of School Trustees in the state of Indiana, I pronounce you graduates of Danville Community High School. You may turn your tassels.
Okay, it's time to go. Follow Mrs. Um, Collier or Mrs. Siller. Mr. Yoder, turn up the music. There we go. There we go. All right. Side of the track, it is time to dismiss. This side of the track, dismiss. <laughs> 